Welcome back, and if you're a first time visitor, well, welcome to our channel. Today we're going to be going over how to go and make these beautiful castle joints for all of your table projects. And in the next video, we'll be showing you how to actually build this table. So definitely stay tuned for that. On that note, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and push that bell icon so that way you know when we come out with our next cool video. In the meantime, let's get to the build. The first part of this project, you want to go ahead and throw together some scrap MDF and make sure that it measures up with the depth of the object that you're going to be cutting into, generally a square board like the one we have here. Just put a marking line just to use for reference and then line up your MDF strips that you cut out to that line and then make sure that everything fits correctly. Once that happens, go ahead and drill through the MDF. Even with some good bits, this does take a bit of time. Just make sure the holes are high enough uh, so your screws won't impact the dado blade. And then put in your screws. Just try those in with an impact driver because this stuff actually is pretty hard to go through. Then take it to your table saw and level out any possibly unlevel edges so this way we have a good flat bottom and we'll go ahead and try this out on a test piece if you don't have a dado blade uh, this one actually is working on a contractor saw and it's working great so we'll leave a link down in the uh, information below about that You can see we're just kind of taking our time through the cut. That's really important. We did clamp it to the actual jig, just so you know. Basically a castle joint is just a bridle joint flipped on its side for the most part. And there we go with our uh, test piece that we put into our other test piece. And that seems to fit just fine. It's very, very close and it's not too snug. Now to do our actual piece that we're going to be doing for our table. Again, just kind of taking our time running it through there. And then after we're done, we're going to go ahead and unclamp it and then we'll uh, turn it around so that way we can do the next part. I just want to go into that nice and slow. Some blue tape here might help out just a bit though. Uh, that'll keep some of the fibers from blowing out like you can see here on the right. And there's those blown out fibers I was talking about. And that's basically your castle part of your castle joint. Now we're just going to put up a little board here on our fence and clamp it to it so that way we can keep a good spacing. This is about the width of our uh, castle, or where we want our castle joint to end. And we'll show you how that works here in a minute. This is being cut at half the size of what the board will be cut down to when we're done. Just puts a simple dado in there and you're pretty much good to go. Once they're cut down, they should fit like this. Just lock right into place. Now we're just going to go ahead and put our uh, dadoed boards, per se, into our castle joint. And after a little bit of fidgeting there, just lock that in. And the joint on its own is strong right off the bat. No glue needed, but you should glue it. 
things lock in right like that, nice and flush. I hope you guys enjoyed our video on how to make castle joints. Uh, remember this is part of a series, so we're gonna be going and showing you how to make this beautiful table. I did promise to show you guys the rest of this table. So we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. And here we go. This is our table. You can see it's got some really neat uh, joinery methods that we've used on here. Made out of beautiful Sapelian maple. We're going to be showing a lot more of uh, how that all came out in the next video. So again, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so when that video does come out, you'll be the first to see it. In the meantime, again, thanks for uh, watching. We'll see you next time.